Problems about relationships between angles can be tricky because usually you're not given a formula, you're not told how to solve it, you're just given a picture and then a little bit of information. So what you have to do is recognize as much truth or as much factual information in the picture as possible. So here's what we have to do. Here's our mission. We have to find the measure of angle A, B, C. Well, as you can see, there's nothing written inside of angle A, B, C. So we have a problem. What is it? We don't know. But we do know that the measure of C, B, D happens to be 40 degrees. And we also know that A, B, D is a straight line. How many angles, or excuse me, how many degrees are in a straight line? If you said 180, you would be correct. So check it out. We know that angle C, B, D, right here, plus A, B, C, equals 180 degrees. We know that. So really all we have to do is substitute in our variable and our degrees. So let's start with 40. C, B, D is 40, 40 degrees. And we don't know what A, B, C equals, that's our problem. So we'll just call it X equals 180 degrees. Well, this is just simple algebra now. We just subtract 40 from both sides, and what we're left with is X equals 140 degrees. Done. All right. I want you to try to find the measure of angle E, B, D. All right. Press pause and give it a shot. Pause. Okay. If you're still with me, Let's go ahead and try to solve this one. We'll make a little green box so we can keep our work straight. So we're trying to find the measure of angle E, B, D. So that's right here, E, B, D. I really like to trace angles with my fingers. Don't be afraid to do that. There's nothing immature or silly about it. I do it all the time and I'm a math teacher. So again, we don't know what angle E, B, D equals. And we'll call it Y just so we don't get confused with that one. But we do know that angle EBA equals 75 degrees. And we also know that this ABD, this angle here, is 180 degrees, because it's a straight line. So again, let's just go ahead and set up a simple equation. Angle ABE, this one here, plus our mystery angle, angle EBD, must equal 180, because we have a straight line. So let's just plug and chug. 75 degrees is angle ABE, and we don't know what angle EBD is, but we called it Y, so we'll just stick to that. So again, it's just algebra. Minus 75 from both sides, and what we're left with is Y equals 105 degrees. And to be precise, we would say angle E B, D, which equals Y, equals 105 degrees. Same thing over here. Angle A, B, C, which we called X, equals 140 degrees. Great. Let's take a look at this one. This one's actually easier. It's easier because we have two intersecting lines, which means that we're going to have vertical angles. This angle is vertical to this angle. So, well, let's give this one a shot. If I asked you to find QRT, you don't even have to do algebra. You can just tell me this. Angle QRT equals 50 degrees, and you can just explain. Because angle QRT is vertical to angle what is it? S R U? Yeah, S R U. All right, let's try another one. This one's a little more challenging. I want you to find the measure of QRS. QRS. So we'll call it X because we don't know what it is. And be mindful of the fact that we have two straight lines. Go ahead and press pause and see if you can do it. Pause. All right. If you're with me, 
let's finish this one off. X, or QRS, is not vertical to 50. In fact, it's adjacent to 50. And it also happens to be supplementary, which means that it forms a straight line. So we can just do this. Angle SRU plus angle QRS equals 180 degrees because they're adjacent and supplementary. They form a straight line. So let's just plug and check. SRU equals 50. We already did this. We're experts at this. And QRS equals X, because we don't know what it equals. So now we just algebra, home stretch. So 180 minus 50 is 130 degrees. And again, to be precise, it's QRS is what equals 130 degrees. So angle QRS, which we called X, equals 130 degrees. All right, good job.